So now in this video we're going to take a, a quick look at a circuit that uh, works pretty nicely for how I already have the oscilloscope set up uh, for the most part in earlier videos. So we got roll mode, it's uh, slowly scrolling across uh, one second uh, per division, that's what I set it to. And then we have uh, the two channels, so I plugged into channel one and channel two, we got channel two right there, that probe, there's a little hook when you squeeze this that comes out and then you release it, it hooks uh, whatever you want to hook it to. And uh, so that's cross the load and the Zener diode. Zener diode is reverse bias. The uh, cathode, the black band, is headed towards the more positive side of the supply. And the side without a band, I know it's hard to see, is going to the negative supply. It's got to be reverse bias or else it won't drop enough voltage. It's a 5.1 volt Zener diode. So when current flows through it, it uh, builds up about 5.1 uh, volts. It just keeps letting more current pass through it if you try to raise it. So there you can see we got uh, each square here each division is two volts for both channels so we got two four and then a half is five but the supply voltage is seven volts that is the important thing so we got a higher voltage across that resistor before it gets to the zener so a couple volts is being across, dropped across that resistor and uh, current's passing through the zener there's current also going through the load so this led we uh, have a 1000 ohm resistor so we could put higher voltage across it but for whatever reason Let's say we want to keep five volts across this LED and uh, it's protective resistor. So 1000 ohm resistor, we can't take much current uh, from here in relationship to what's being provided or else it will really throw the voltage off. So in any case, we are at uh, seven volts. As you can see there, I'll go to the supply. So I got this uh, plugged in. So the supply has moved over uh, a bit more than I would normally like. Uh, battery is getting about halfway. So I figured I would charge it. But in any case, there you can see I'm going up to 12 volts. So you can see current went way up. Uh, all that extra current is going through the Zener diode. Uh, the same amount of current is going through the load because we still got five volts across the load. But you can see the voltage uh, went up. And then uh, we'll go back down to uh, seven volts at the supply there. And you can see the voltage held steady across our load and Zener diode, whereas uh, the supply voltage dropped. Now we, uh, don't want to lower the voltage probably more than seven volts I'll go six wait a little bit and then go to five volts and we'll zoom in and you can see that uh, we dropped uh, to about four volts approximately but it didn't look like any current was really going through the load anymore uh, supply voltage went down so you uh, usually want about a couple volts whenever you have a component couple volts extra supply whenever you have a component that uh, limits voltage to a certain amount. Uh, it's typically best to have about a couple volts or more. And uh, in this case, we need uh, quite a bit of current. Usually you would just use this as a signal uh, voltage for other uh, circuitry that responds to that voltage. But there you can see the black band, the cathode headed more positive, the red band more negative. Again, it's important you put the Zener diode the right way, which is reverse bias when you want its Zener voltage. If you put it forward biased, it's like any other uh, diode where it conducts easily forward bias, probably about uh, 0.6 volts because they're usually uh, silicon uh, based. But uh, in any case, reverse bias, that's when you get its Zener voltage. So it's dropping about 5 volts. We have a 470 ohm resistor here because when we had 12 volts, that's about 7 volts higher than 5 volts. So it's dropping 5 volts. Then we had about 7 volts across that resistor. 470 ohms is about as low as you want to go and then uh, very little current since it's 1000 ohm resistor being taken from the load here. So in any case, didn't want to make this too long, so I kept it simple, no diagram or anything. I've done similar uh, circuits with the diagram and stuff in other videos, so you can check those out if you're interested. Also just Google like Zener diode, this stuff is uh, covered, but it helps a lot to see the oscilloscope, so hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.